hi hi guys welcome to another tutorial in this video i will be showing you how to make a simple patch pocket with flap and here is the pattern i am going to be using and the length is six inches and also the width is five inches now the next thing you need is your flap pattern and here is mine and the length of this pattern is three inches and i have half inch at the top for allowance and also half inch at the bottom for allowance and the width of my flap matches right with my pocket which is also five inches as you can see now i am going to fold this pattern over like this in half and i am going to take one and a half inches from the tip of my pattern because i don't want mine to have those sharp edges i want it to have like a curvy shape you can make yours any kind of shape you want now pl i place this on my pattern and i'm going to cut out half inch all around for allowance all around my fabric as you can see i have half inch all around the pocket and i have also cut out my flap using my pattern and i have four pieces for my flap and also two pieces for my pockets so next thing i did as you can see i placed all my seam allowances i placed it on fold and i ironed everything as you can see i placed the seam allowances and i ironed everything now next thing i'm going to do is take this to my sewing machine and place the edge slightly over like this and i'm going to overlock all the edges just so that i can have a neater finishing and now i am done uh, overlocking all the edges as you can see next thing i'm going to do right now is i'm going to fold this over like this just very slightly just fold it like uh, 0 0.5 inch you can see how small that is then now turn it over to the good side and now fold this over like this you're folding the half inch over like this now I am going to go on and pin the edges and you're going to go on your sewing machine and you're going to stitch the edges down and as you can see I have stitched the edges down and I'll flip it over on the inside like this. Now I'll take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch right where I stitched before and I'll stitch and hold this down. So what I decided to do was use a hand needle, um, a hand stitch and hold this down so I won't have any stitches showing at the good side of my pocket. And basically how to do this is just to take like strands of your fabric and keep stitching this way you won't have your stitches showing at the good side of your fabric Now once that is done, what I am going to do next is from the shoulder joining of my shirt, I am going to take 10 inches downwards as you can see me do. Now next thing I am going to do is I am going to take off the side seam allowance that I placed on my pattern, on my fabric. I have taken that side seam allowance which is 1 inch. Now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the midpoint from this to the one inch as you can see. I'm going to find the midpoint and here is my midpoint. Now next thing I'm going to do right now is from this midpoint I'm going to place my pocket. I'll find the midpoint of my pocket also and place it right there. So this way after placing your pockets your pockets won't be like one-sided or looking funny 
now what i'm just doing now is folding in all my all my allowances all the allowance i placed on my pocket i'm just folding it in as you can see me do now next thing i'm going to do is take this to my sewing machine and i'm going to sew all around it but before i do that i would suggest you pin these down now i'll just go on and sew all around this and here is my flap mind you while cutting the pattern on my fabric i left half inch seam allowance all around it now next thing i'm going to do right now is because i also want like a curvy shape at the top of my flap i folded it in half and i'm going to cut this over like this now you can go on with any kind of shape you want but this is the shape i am going for and and I also made sure that I lined this with my fabric. You can use any kind of fabric you want. Now I'll take this to my sewing machine and I'll stitch my seam allowance all around it by half inch. Now as you can see, I am done stitching and this is what it should look like. Now next thing I'm going to do is make notches all around this so as to be able to have a neater uh, turnover at the good side of the fabric. Now, next thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to fold over half inch. I'm going to fold in half inch from the bottom inside and I'm going to pin. And once I am done pin, pinning, I'm going to go on my sewing machine and stitch this closed. And here is my pocket. As you can see, I have stitched it down to my shirt, as you can see. And now I am going to place my flap just over this like this. And I'm going to pin this down like this. And now once I am done pinning, I'm just going to go on my sewing machine. And I'm going to make my stitches just at the very tip of that flap like this all the way. Now once you're done stitching, next thing you're going to want to do is place in folding your flap like this and know where you want your uh, button hole to be and also your button i have a tutorial on how to make a button hole which i'm going to put the link below as you can see this is a handmade button hole and i have a tutorial on how to do this i'll put the link in the comment section and you can go and check that out now as you can see this is how you get to where to place in your button and finally, we have come to the end of this tutorial. In another video, I will be showing you how to sew your shirt dress complete. And um, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and hope to see you in more videos. See ya!